in this video i am going to discuss about colors in thin films that is here i am going to consider a thin film and in last video we have already discussed about thin film and it is having a thickness t and refractive index mu and let us suppose a light ray incident on a top face of the thin film then some part of it gets reflected and some part of it gets transmitted and again this transmitted light gets reflected and here also see some part of it gets transmitted and some part of it gets reflected and here we are going to observe that these two are reflected lights but this reflected light is having phase difference of pi and here we are going to observe that there is no phase change of this reflected light and the colors exhibited in the case of reflected light in thin films of oil mica soap bubble are due to the interference of these reflected lights and this interference is explained by thomas yang thomas ang explained interference of this reflected light and how a colors are produced in thin films here the reflected rays in thin films are very close to each other and they are position to interfere each other and the optical path difference between these two interfering rays is uh, we have already derived this delta is equals to 2 mu t cos r minus lambda by 2 this is the optical path difference between these two reflected waves and here uh, the optical path difference of these reflected light depends on the first one refractive index mu and thickness of the thin film and it depends on the angle r that is angle of refraction or we can relate angle of refraction in terms of angle of incidence because this angle of refraction it depends on the angle of incidence and it depends on the path difference lambda by 2 and one more thing let us suppose when interference of light takes place in the thin film with monochromatic source that is monochromatic source then we are going to observe that bright or dark fringe we are going to observe bright or dark fringe in a case of reflected light or in a case of transmitted light when we use monochromatic source because monochromatic source consists of a single wavelength that is let us suppose here two light waves are reflected let us suppose the first one it is it is the first wave wavelength and let us suppose the second wave if both waves are in phase then we are going to get maximum amplitude and let us suppose if these two interfering waves are having phase difference of pi that is here i am going to draw this is the first wave and this is the second wave when these two waves are in out of phase then we are going to observe that the amplitude of the resultant wave is zero here these two reflected lights are in phase then we are going to observe bright fringe 
in case of monochromatic source and if this reflected lights are having phase difference then we are going to observe a dark band or a dark fringe in case of monochromatic source okay it is about a monochromatic source but let us suppose if the incident wave is white light then this white light consists of a different wavelengths that is it range from violet to violet is having a shorter wavelength to the red violet to red light it is having a shorter wavelength it is having the longer wavelength the white light is having wavelengths of range from violet to red and one more thing here in case of reflected light for specific value of r and t for specific value of r and t only certain wavelengths are going to interfere constructively and we know that when reflected waves interfere constructively here the path difference is given by that is path difference in a case of constructive interference is given by 2 mu t cos r is equal to 2m plus 1 into lambda by 2 this is the path difference between two between two waves in a case of reflected light when path difference between two light waves is equals to this then we are going to observe that colors in the reflected light white light consists of a different wavelengths that is from violet to red and and only certain wavelengths interfere constructively when the path difference between those two interfering waves is equals to the 2 mu t cos r which is equals to 2 m plus 1 into lambda by 2 and when the path difference is 2 mu t cos r is equals to m plus 1 into lambda and here also say the white light is having a different wavelength from ranging to violet to red and in between these range those wavelengths those wavelengths are having a path difference which is equals to 2 mu t cos r is equals to m plus 1 lambda then we are going to observe that these waves are interfering destructively let us suppose here i am going to consider a thin film with different thickness here this is the th this is the thin film it is having a variable thickness and here thickness is small and here we can see that thickness is more and let us suppose a white light is incident on this film and white light consists of a violet blue green yellow orange and red colors and we know that violet color are having a shorter wavelength as compared to the red light and here where the thickness is less in this region violet waves are going to interfere constructively and red light is going to interfere destructively because here for violet light the path difference is 2 mu t cos r is equal to 2 m plus 1 lambda by 2 and for red light where the thickness is small the path difference for the red waves are 2 mu t cos r is equal to m plus 1 lambda that's why here we are going to observe violet color and here red color is absent because it depends on the the color depends on the thickness and here i am going to consider in same here if violet and red light incident on this thin film here thickness is more that's why here violet waves are going to interfere destructively and it is having the path difference to mu t cos r is equal to m plus 1 lambda and in this case the red light is going to interfere constructively and here we are going to observe red light in this way for different thicknesses 
some of the light waves are going to interfere destructively and some of the light waves are going to interfere constructively that's why you are going to observe some beautiful colors on the thin film okay this is all about colors in thin films when light incident on a soap bubble some part of it gets reflected and some part of it gets transmitted and here second wave traveled a longer distance as compared to the first wave and as a result two waves may be in or out of phase if they are out of phase they interfere destructively and if they are in phase then they interfere constructively and that particular color will appear on thin film and for constructive interference of certain wavelengths and for certain colors it depends on the angle of incidence and the first wave is having 180 degree phase shift with respect to the second wave here we can see that thin film of soap and on top side we can observe that as thickness decreases the colors disappear and if soap bubble is too thin then no reflections are possible we see thin films in camera lens and in insects and in the wings of the insects and street on a rainy day these are the examples for the thin film